Hello and welcome inside the Wets Bets show, powered by Her Hoop Stats, the show where we literally bet on women. I'm Calvin. That's Dano. March is in less than 13 hours at this point. We are 13 hours away. Woo. Actual March basketball. So pumped for that. First, let's get a quick recap. As you guys have probably seen on Twitter, we've been moving to one pick a day rather than a thousand picks a day starting on Saturday. Saturday's pick, Iowa State. Yesterday's pick, Delaware. Both of those hit, so 2-0 since we went to that model. Speaking of Iowa State, they are the game of the night tonight on the college basketball slate, playing for a conference title at home against Baylor, who has owned the Big 12 in recent years. Iowa State has a chance to change that tonight. We cannot give you our pick because we have been making picks on CBS Sportsline recently starting yesterday. We have a pick up there for that game tonight. So if you want our pick for Baylor, Iowa State, go check out. We will tweet it out in a little bit, our article for CBS Sportsline, and you can find our pick for that one there. But Dano and I each do have another pick tonight. A lot of swaction on the on the <laughs> on the menu tonight. A lot of swack basketball. So I'm going to start with you, Dano. Who's your pick of the night? Well, I'm going with a contrarian play, I would say. I'm betting on a team that is 4-24 and on the season to cover the spread, but they are playing with so much heart. They literally doubled their win total on the season in the past two games because uh, they've won two in a row, both on the road, and that would be the Hartford Hawks. They are plus 13 and a half at UMass Lowell. Uh, I, I think it should be more around nine and a half, ten. I really do love the way they're playing. They're playing with a lot of speed. Uh, they're scoring the ball well. I think they're basically hit that point in the season where it's, it's really just they have nothing to lose, and they're just trying to get better, and uh, it's really working for them. That being said, I do like the over as well. I think the line is at 124 and a half. But uh, yeah, riding with Hartford again. I am honestly thinking about sprinkling a little bit on the money line at plus 700 because I just feel like the team's got got some type of swagger in recent games. And uh, the win over NJIT was, uh, they're definitely a tougher opponent than UMass Lowell. So yeah. Uh, Looking forward to it. I think it'll be a sweat. Uh, hopefully they can get an early lead like they've been doing the last two games. And like you said, playing with heart. Pun intended. Hartford playing with heart. I like what you did there. Boom. Big time pick from Dano. Let's get it. My pick tonight is one of my favorites to bet on all year. Jackson State did have to put a little pause in betting them when Deja Rogan was out. But she's been back. Even with her back in the lineup, they struggled in the last game. Only won by one point. Texas Southern. So I'm hoping that's not a start of a trend. We'll see. But right now the line is at 18 and a half for Jackson State. I'm thinking they clear, you know, over 20. They've been they've been making a lot of money money all season long as long as Deja Rogan's in the lineup. So so I'm sticking with my Jackson State Tigers. And even before I started betting, I've been a big fan of of Jackson State with with Rogan and Amisha Williams and Tamika Reed is I think one of the best coaches no one knows about. I got to see them in person a couple years ago. It's a really pesky team. Uh, it's it's you know they played they played Illinois State a higher caliber team and they were frustrating as an Illinois State fan. So this is this is a fun team. It's a good team. It's a team that I, I don't think if you're uh, maybe a two seed and they get a 15 in the NCAA tournament that you don't want to see them because it's a tough game plan with the pressure that they bring. And Misha Williams is one of the best best bigs at this level that you're ever going to see. So rolling with Jackson State tonight, 18 and a half. Dano, you got any last thoughts? Yeah, I love that pick. I think when they're rolling, they are absolutely rolling. They, I know they covered uh, against a few major conference teams uh, earlier in the season. Uh, I think losing by less than 16 against Texas, and they were in that game for the majority of it. Uh, when their press is working and uh, the offense just kind of clicks off that, it's, it's hard to stop that team. So uh, I'll be riding with that as well. Yeah, definitely to your point. They started out two and six this year, but look at the schedule. They went at Miami, at Ole Miss, at Texas, at Arkansas, at Mississippi State. All sorts of power conference road games just put themselves through the gauntlet. And they covered it almost every one of those. Like you said, at Texas, lost by fourteen. At Arkansas, lost by four. 
at Mississippi State, lost by eight. They weren't getting blown out or run off the floor uh-huh. on, in these teams' gyms. So when you when you get them against the SWAC, they're undefeated in the SWAC for a reason. Obviously, that came close to to ending the other day, but I'm st- I'm still willing to write that one off as an aberration. I love this Jackson State team. So I think that's going to do it for us on the Wet's Bets show. Make sure to tune into Baylor Iowa State tonight. Like we said, go find our pick for that one on CBS Sportsline, and tune tune back in for the rest of the week as we make our picks. You know, all all throughout March. And all throughout March Madness here on Her Hoop Stats. Awesome.